Good morning children. Our today's chapter is the later Vedic civilization. The period from 1000 BCE to 500 BCE during which the Indo-Aryans settled in the Gangetic Valley is known as the later Vedic period. The three later Vedas the Atharveda, the Samveda and the Yajurveda and the Upanishads are supposed to have been composed during this time. The two great Indian epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, were written during this period. Epics are lengthy poems that describe the brave deeds and adventures of warriors. Historians also refer to this period as the Epic Age. The life of the Aryans during this age has been reconstructed on the basis of information gathered from the three later Vedas. The epics as well as the recent archaeological evidence from regions such as Hastinapur and the upper Gangetic Plains. Excavations indicate the use of iron during this period. Political Organization during the later Vedic period, small tribal organizations expanded and developed into large kingdoms. Some of the kingdoms established by the Indo-Aryans were Kuru near modern Delhi, Kosala near Awadh, Magda, Patna and Gaya, and Kashi, Varanasi. Ashwamedha, horse sacrifice was performed. Ashwamedha enabled king to establish undisputed authority over the territory through which the horse moved unchallenged. Kingship Kings became powerful and kingship became hereditary. The Sabha and the Samiti lost much of their control over the king. As the kingdom increased in size, the administration became more complex. The king was assisted by many officials who were put in charge of different departments. The king was elevated to the position of God's representative. When our king ascended the throne, the Purohita performed the Ratsuya Yagna to confer supreme power on him. Social Life Classification of Society the classification of society into four varnas now became rigid and hereditary. The four classes came to be known as the four castes. The son of a Kshatriya could not become a Brahman. Caste was now decided by birth, not by occupation. Intercaste marriages were not allowed anymore. As the caste system became deep-rooted, Society got sharply divided. The Brahmans and the Kshatriyas formed the ruling class. The Vaishyas were the artisans, traders and farmers. The Shudras were the uneducated workers who served the other three classes. Family Joint family system was further strengthened. Male children were favoured by the people. The birth of a son was welcomed. The position of a woman declined. They were now considered inferior to men. They no longer took part in the assemblies. Their highest duty was to serve their husbands and take care of the family. However, they continued to participate in religious ceremonies.